Today we're going to talk about a super simple way to couple a receive loop like this into your SDR. Stick around. W1VLF. Hey everybody, my name is Paul W1VLF, and welcome back to the lab, to the loop lab, I guess. Um, we're going to talk about these loops. You've seen these before uh, on on this channel. This is basically a receive loop that will just couple the field into a radio such as this, whether you put it near it or in it, however, but but the problem comes in when you have when you spent your money on your SDR and uh, there's no way to couple this in. Um, some of the commercial units like this Grundig have an extra loop that uh, one, or, one or two turns uh, that go around the perimeter and they tap that off for you over here. But if you've built one of these other style loops and you want to couple it into your, um, your SDR Today we'll be using the HF Plus and uh, Console 3. Um, how do you do that? We talked about last time taking a loop like this that has a coupling output and attaching it directly to one of these things by driving this small ferrite. But we need to be able to extract energy from any one of these loops. And we're going to go over that today and I'll show you what I've done. And uh, we'll, we'll play a few games here and see what happens. Let me set up for that and I'll be right back. So we have a bunch of loops here. Everything from a PVC to uh, the Grundig to the uh, veneer uh, walnut loop to the one made from the embroidery hoop. Uh, and all of these, with the exception of this, don't have an output to go into your SDR. So we'll talk about that today. Um, the easiest one to work with is going to be this, so we'll set that one up first. And I'm going to get these out of the way and set up for that. Just a uh, quick review, I don't know if you can hear this or not, but we're tuned to uh, WOR New York. And here's our, our loop. I'm just going to sweep through real quick so you can hear the, you know, no wires, the conventional way of uh, tuning this antenna. Okay, and as soon as I move it away. Okay, so what I have here is the loop that we're used to seeing, and a piece of coax cable connected to our H, uh, HF Plus with a tiny little loop on it. This is about an inch and a half in diameter. And as you could see, looking over at the, almost the entire broadcast band over there, there's not a lot of uh, really big signals. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow this loop as a, with the field that's around it to couple into this. And that's going to be our pickup. So you don't need to actually make a, you know, physically modify this at all. And then we're going to try a couple other loops. Here's a small, a little bit larger one. And here's a larger one. So there's a balance that you want to meet between how much signal you extract from this loop and how broad the response of the loop becomes. And in basic terms, the bigger the, the coupling loop is, the broader it's going to become, but also the more, antenna, more um, signal you'll have. Um, with a very small loop like this, we're going to have a very, very sharp antenna, very sharp frequency selective wise but we're not going to couple as much as we are as um, with, with a, uh, a larger loop like this. So I'm going to tune to uh, 540 on the um, receiver over here. Oh, we're already tuned to 540, but I'm going to put it in the center of the screen. And I'm going to spread it out a little bit, uh, zoom in a little. Doing this. So here is uh, 540 kilohertz. You see that tiny little nub in the middle there? Right in the middle of the screen, that's 540 kilohertz. Um, obviously, something that's two inches in diameter does not provide us with a very good antenna for the, for the medium wave band, or the, uh, the AM broadcast band. So let's couple this in. Let's put it right in the center 
and we'll watch on the screen as I tune across. Here it comes. Um, you can see the cue, I mean the uh, selectivity moving back and forth here. Okay, so there is, in fact, let me, uh, let me unmute this so we can hear some. Maybe you'll be able to hear, I don't know. It's very, very difficult um, doing this from the other side of the room. Now here's something too that's interesting. Hear how much noise there is? Watch when I take the small mouse. Okay, let's orientate this towards the station so we'll be able to hear it. All right. So, again, I mean, this is in New York City, about 90 miles away, and it's daytime, and there's all sorts of junk going on. The television's like right above my head. So, what do we have there? Like an S5? So we'll just pop this out. And then we'll pop in a little bit larger. Sometimes it, it needs a little retuning. Okay, so that's two. Now we're up to an S8. And I'll try to take this out. And we'll go with the largest loop here I have. Uh, so you can see it's almost an S9 there. So without the coupling loop, so you don't have to modify anything. All you have to do is put your BNC connector uh, with a small loop like this. Again, let's let's hook the, the tiniest of all the loops up. This is about a, I don't know, maybe it's two inches in diameter. Okay, move it away. It doesn't make a very good loop uh, antenna until we move it generally in the field of this antenna. Let me move to a frequency that's a little bit quieter. It doesn't have all this noise on it. I'm going to put my mouse there. It is. And, uh, all right, now this is 560. It's in Springfield. I'll retune. Free radio is where it's calling you today is a broken hearted free American. And I did note this morning when of I Of course, now if I pull this away, that's all we're using is that one inch circle. So it's very and lightly coupled into it, very light. To find anybody, let and what do we have, like an S4 or 5, something like that? So we'll, we'll probably, uh, this, this I think is way too small. This is just done to dem for demonstration. The next size up, like uh, four inch, I think this is. other than Abraham Lincoln and, okay. and, uh, and General Grant. I, I am really broken hearted that, you know, Morgan Freeman, like you, put in... So there's a, a seven with that, with that size. That racism... Uh, and we'll move up to, uh, like, the six-inch loop. Like the Democratic Party and all of these demagogues keep talking about it. The black actor Morgan Freeman put his hand on it. The interviewer couldn't believe it. And all we can do... All right, let me, uh, uh, let me move up again to another frequency here. And so let me move up to... Uh, to keep on praying. Here's 880 kilohertz with the big... With this six-inch loop. Nothing there, right? No signal at all. Okay. If you notice the hump of the signal response, how big it's getting, look at it off to the right hand side. The higher up we go in frequency, the better the coupling becomes. So look how look how wide it is off to the right there. Now bring it down here. Well, right now we've got a cloudy sky in New York. It's 43 degrees. It's 40 in West Milford, 44 okay, in Deer so Park. Okay, so S9 plus 5. Trump's expected to issue a bond for Barely copyable without it. Before he leaves office Wednesday. The pardons could include many of the president's friends and family okay, members. So let's grab another one of these loops. The founders originally included President 
presidential party in power in the Constitution because they wanted the president to be able to act as a fail safe to provide justice when justice wasn't done when mercy was needed. The so here's the, the Grundig. Uh, didn't put the power in there. It's an AN 200. It provides you with an output, but if you didn't have it, it would look like this. Give big moments of gratitude there's to the essay. people who had supported. So let's take that one away. CBS News Times 221. Former New York City Transportation Commissioner. And we'll go with uh, this guy. Part of the new Biden administration. The, uh, the big loop there. Deputy Secretary of Transportation. One that's made on the inverted loop. Be in the running for the top job at the department, but former presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg wound up having that nomination. And we'll hook up this uh, our test fixture here, which uh, allows us to tune multiple capacitors here. Let's see. As a new first family enters the White House, Vanderbilt Sarah Fuller will attend President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration you can see Wednesday. Size does she make a difference. It's an here. honor to be invited to now, participate. Now, if they want to change the couple a little bit, I can bring this in closer or the space it out a little bit. Breaking, so we went down to an SA. To lead like a woman, tagging vice and now we're up to an S9 plus one. Wendy Gillette. CBS News. We're down to Twitter the seven. So this is a whole foot away. Watch when I miss two. Twitter over the weekend temporarily suspended the account. Green, the Republican congresswoman from Georgia, who's expressed racist views and support for QAnon conspiracy theories online. The 46th move it even further away. political newcomer was elected to represent Georgia's It's about two feet away right now. She's gained large followings on social media, in part by yeah, I'm going to retune here and see, and comments, see if it's still it's having some effect on that loop. The far right U.S. conspiracy theory. Yep. The statement from her team on Sunday included screenshots from Twitter, which appeared to the company informing the congresswoman she had violated its rules and would be prohibited from interacting on Twitter Not too much hours. anymore. Matt Piper, CBS News. President-elect Joe Biden's... So let's try the biggest loop Chopra and get the, ma the main, to main the uh, level we can here. Best Bureau. signal. She's an ally of Senator Elizabeth Warren. Warren... Okay, an S9 um, plus three. We'll go down to... Uh, champion the creation of that agency. Chopra... A two-inch loop. See what happens. Today, every business is digital. From SEO to third-party integration, AmericanEagle.com delivers innovative website design, development, and digital solutions. You can change the coupling, too, by changing the orientation of this loop. That field is still there. Digital program, increasing visibility and member it's just that this is now perpendicular. To drive their overall AmericanEagle.com was able to create a digital... So somewhere in between. I think this two, this four-inch would probably be a good compromise. ...services with their existing infrastructure that drives... And let me see, I think the preamp is off here, of too. ...resources for association members. AmericanEagle.com, providing website right. design and development to third-party integration solutions. When so the preamp was off. Think more digital, talk so, to AmericanEagle.com. 13, 14 inch your loop like this, or even the 12 Call over there. AmericanEagle.com at get this out of here. The 12 back. Do you smoke marijuana? Have you been smoking more since the COVID-19 pandemic? Have you thought about quitting or cutting down? Have you quit smoking weed before but started up again? If you or a family member 14. does not know so this, where to turn this loop for actually has a higher to learn how you can cut signal. down or quit smoking. Anyway, that's all I wanted completely. to show you on this. The research treatment uh, studies there was one York other thing that I wanted Institute to show you. I'm going to pause real. University no, I'm not. I got it right there. Medical Center. Remember this guy? Let me mute the radio. Okay. Before I had a hole drilled in here with some clearance, but what I'm using now is uh, a coupling, a threaded coupling. And it provides a very, very nice, smooth way to orientate the loop. Let me just grab one out of my uh, box of cookies over here. Hold on a second. You can get these uh, anywhere, at Home Depot or anywhere, I'm sure even around the rest of the world. Basically, it's just a threaded coupling, which, um, which, which, th <laughs> which threads into itself. 
okay, and there's it's nice and tight too, and you know loose enough, tight enough so that the antenna doesn't wobble back and forth, but loose enough to provide you with a nice smooth, smooth um, swivel point, and your PVC basically just goes into it like that. So you can do all sorts of neat stuff with PVC, but I wanted to show you that because because this loop was, uh, you know, all, it's basic. It's all PVC except for the wooden block at the bottom, and I wanted to have a little bit better, uh, better, you know, swiveling uh, point here. So anyhow, that's about it. I just wanted to uh, to show you how you could couple signal. In fact, wait a second. You can couple some signal out of this one too. Let's let's give that a shot. Turn the volume back on. There's 880. Let's see. Back is on the verge of a revival, an incredible opportunity yep. for new businesses or those. So anytime you build a resonant circuit, you have a field of energy circulating back and forth. And this is your other turn of a transformer to try and pick some of that off. City. Don't be late to the party. Get to the sack. Hackensack is on the rise. All right. So anyway, uh, you could go back to my other videos and look at the ones uh, on how those loops are made and kind of a rundown of them. But this is just a real simple way. That's just a, uh, a BNC with um, a loop made on the BNC. That's all it is. Anyway, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and um, if you're not totally bored to tears, please please try and subscribe. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Um, things have been really uh, really uh, busy at work, and I haven't been able to get on, to, on and do many videos lately, but this was something I just wanted to show you. So, anyway, thanks a lot, everybody. This is W1VLF signing off.